59 point win, seven goals to Izard and for Footscray three to McGuinness and Doug Bigelow smiling I would have thought. There's a bit of a scowl on the face though. Biggs, what's wrong with a 59 point win? That's better. Well eventually it was quite uh, quite satisfactory Tim but initially I thought the Dons did struggle and uh, uh, Footscray were able to bottle, bottle them up uh, quite nicely as did Fitzroy in the elimination final of last year but when they broke clear their small players came right into the business in the second half. They were practically non-existent early. Salmon played a great game incidentally. I hope we can get him in here. Fixed uh, forward or in the ruck? He played in the ruck and marked cleanly and uh, his around the ground play was excellent and uh, Quite a sound performance. Is that his place this year, do you think, on the ball? I think it could be, but uh, I think that Sheedy, as we well know, would use uh, he, Merritt, Simon Madden, who wasn't playing today, uh, of course, in that ruck position, but they've certainly got a bit of versatility there and a little bit of utility business to play around with. A couple of the Essendon recruits there's been a bit of talk about. Uh, Peter Francis coming to his fourth club, I think, now, and Tony Danaher. I thought Francis settled in quite nicely. He tried to do something with the ball each time, and invariably he was successful. But uh, Anthony Danaher, of course, who has had uh, league experience with the Sydney Swans, was uh, a fine player for the Dons, didn't waste the football. And of course, that's the essence of the contract out there, do something with the ball, and each of those players certainly did it. Another fade-out by the Bulldogs. They faded out, you remember, against the West Coast Eagles in the National Panasonic Cup. Uh, what did you make of their effort? Couldn't really work the fade out out. I think they might have run out of puff because of this bottling up situation in the first half of the game. But uh, Purser was a fellow who was uh, really vanquished, I thought, and uh, that might have been one of the reasons for it. But they had no one up forward. Winton did it doing an excellent job uh, on uh, Beasley. He played a fine game, young Winton, and it uh, looks uh, ready for a pretty good uh, future this season. Well, we've been joined by one of your Essendon heroes, the big man. Paul, thanks for coming in. Paul Salmon. All right. Biggs was just telling us you uh, spent most of the day on the ball, not in the fixed forward post. Do you see that as your likely role from now on? Oh, I think uh, it, I could be called upon a lot more this year. Um, we've been unlucky enough to have an injury to Simon early. Um, but Kevin's got the options there, and uh, I'm thankful to be one of them. I think it's a long-term aim of mine to, to be more involved on the ball, and uh, I'm hoping that in the future I can establish myself and uh, hopefully play well enough to earn the spot regularly. I'd expect there's a strong feeling of wanting to avenge last year's uh, effort at Essendon. Are you aware of that? Oh, it certainly is. I think uh, most of the boys, or all the boys, um, and the match committee and, and administration are, are disappointed because we know we were capable of better. Um, but it is an aim, and uh, it's just a matter of morale and, and really the boys pulling together and, and playing the football we know we're capable of, and that's by doing hard things and, and setting ourselves a few aims and goals. Usually takes a little bit of time, uh, Paul, for big fellows to settle down. You must have been very happy with the neat way that I thought you uh, did the, that ruck work today. A bit disappointed possibly with the small players earlier who didn't give you the support that you had gained. Um, yes, I was, I was quite pleased. I was getting my hands to the ball. Um, but essentially it is a ruckman's job to push it to the advantage of his rovers. I think uh, um, it was difficult early because the, the game was hot, um, naturally in the first quarter, and Footscray were... We're playing pretty well out of the centre and, and tending to maybe rave to me a little bit. Um, but I think as the game um, in, uh, progressed, um, we sort of worked out a couple of things out of the centre and, and uh, the, the boys started doing their job from the centre and it made it a lot easier up forward if the ball was coming down quicker. Seven goals to Alan Izzard. Did you make him look good or did his score make <laughs> you look good? Oh, I think uh, Bluey uh, does a fine job of making himself look good. Nah, he's always dangerous around goals and it's terrific to have that option in a small play. He reads the ball well and... He's not only a good crummer, but he's got pretty good hands too for his size. And uh, it's always good to have guys like himself and uh, other guys like Trevor Spencer and Roger contesting hard down there and Vander. And it, was, it made it easier for the small guys if they know the big men are going to put in a bit of an effort. He's got a bit of toe too. How far does he finish in front of everybody else in the sprints? Well, I know um, he finishes a long way ahead of me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's, he's very quick over the first 10 and has to be watched. Um, so we're very happy to have him down there. Sheedy uh, does give Baker a late start of the season with his training, but uh, it wasn't obvious today with the way that he brilliantly uh, did the business. Well, Leon's a magical player. I love watching him. Um, I mean, I had a bit of a 10 minute spell on the bench myself today, and uh, a couple of things I saw him do are excellent. And uh, well, Leon has done most of the pre season this year. Um, he's been out in the track, first one out in the track, and, uh, and working very hard, and he's a very fit bloke at the moment. And, uh, I only hope that he can continue his form from now on. I think he's, there's every chance he will. He's a great player. Thanks for making it in, Paul, from VFL Park. Great start to the year. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Doug. 59-point win to the Bombers over Footscray at league headquarters, VFL Park.